Hello everyone, welcome back to FE Tech. My name is Rakesh. So today in this video, we will talk about Flutter Pen, a code editor by CodePen for the Flutter developers. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys. So recently CodePen unveiled Flutter editor. It is called Flutter Pen for the Flutter developers. So as many of you already know about CodePen, it is a famous community among the developers, providing various kind of online editors for good developments such as HTML, GSS, sorry, HTML, JS, CSS, Vue.js, and now Flutter also. But uh, before exploring the Flutter Pen, let me uh, give you this some brief description about the Flutter Pen. So Flutter Pen uh, built upon top of uh, Dartpad services. Yes, you heard correctly, the Dartpad. Dartpad is also an online editor to uh, test your uh, code online. It's just like a Flutter Pen, but that is uh, more advanced. So now the Flutter uh, community has uh, Mm, a dart pad and a flutter pen so if you want to try quick code or test an idea for any widget you can go to dart pad and if you are looking for a design community or are looking for inspiration for creative work you can go to flutter pen it is good for the flutter developers to have both platforms okay guys uh, so uh, let's start to explore a flutter editor so right now i'm on the website of uh, codepen.io i click enter here and uh, it is really annoying to me because uh, if i want to start uh, some uh, some online editor uh, i should see the option right on the home page so you know i don't need to click here and there so unlike if you see uh, the let me go back the stack bleeds the I'm, I'm, I'm a very good fan of uh, slack please so if you see that they have an option right on the home page whatever you want to start uh, you have a, a, a links uh, in front of you in a very nice and clean way and even though they don't have any hodgepodge on their home page like uh, in the codepen.io they have a lot of things uh, at the home page and if you want to find your uh, editor it's uh, very difficult to find if you want to start something uh, something static you just click on start coding and then it will immediately open this uh, uh, this editor which is for uh, for uh, html css and javascript but we don't want to uh, build something in html js and uh, uh, and in css basically so i go back to here the only way which i found the flutter editor is that i go to the topics and then i see the option here flutter okay and then i see here on the on the right corner open flutter editor so this is the way uh, you can open the flutter editor unless you don't know the direct url to go to the flutter editor so this is the first thing and the second thing is that you can you have to uh, log in to the flutter uh, flutter editor sorry right so once you log in you see on this panel uh, left panel you see now the flutter pen option here so let's start and see how easy it is to uh, to develop some kind of uh, flutter stuff uh, using this flutter editor so i click on this and right now is loading okay so they have a very uh, very good editor left side uh, you can see your source code and the, the on the right side it's a preview of your app your flutter app basically so as soon as uh, you change uh, something uh, here uh, let's say um, i just uh, change the widgets to widget and uh, it it reloads it has a hot reload uh, feature and you see it it automatically refreshes and take your changes it's just like you are in uh, vs code so they have a hot reload so whatever you are changing it it's reflecting immediately on your uh, preview right so and let's try something uh, something very basic uh, app 
uh, let's say uh, here in this uh, flutter website they have a tutorial very good tutorial uh, if you see here they have this cart layout so uh, in this cart layout let's say go at the bottom of the cart and then they have uh, this code I'm, I'm not going to explain you everything from the scratch I'm expecting that you are already a flutter developer and uh, what you can do is that you just take a copy of this code come to your uh, your flutter editor in just control a and then control v and just wait for a minute not a minute actually uh, but less than that and and here you we go here you go and uh, everything is now displaying correctly expect the image so for the image uh, basically they are using where's the image what you can ah here it is it's, uh, basically so uh, the image is like uh, uh, they are taking from the assets so so the thing is that if you want to use the images for your uh, I mean for your any kind of demo you you have to take their plan you have to go uh, for the pro version of the flutter pen which is uh, not a free you have to pay for that I think it's uh, maybe yeah code pen pro so if you see here it's uh, eight dollar a month so if you want to to use a flutter editor by codepen as a professional version you have to go for this and uh, there you can you know you can have uh, these assets everything so whatever you can just go to here and then you can see the set in the in the pen setting you have uh, this pro pro version of privacy so if you upgrade to pro you can keep it a uh, as a secret of of this code and even the screenshot you have to upgrade to pro to to take a screenshot of this and let's see what else uh, behavior uh, in the behavior uh, you have uh, this uh, save automatically auto updating preview and then you have a format on save which is currently off you can you turn it on if you want uh, to make a copy of this uh, code in the next time when you you are going to launch a new flutter uh, editor and uh, what else okay so we were here for the image so for the image basically uh, what you can do is uh, and just come back here and then paste it this URL here and i have to change this one asset instead of network instead of asset it should be a network so now you see the the image uh, loading yeah now you see here so it's like a real app basically uh, and uh, the other thing i wanted to show you that if you uh open this uh, your uh, flutter pen editor url in the new tab basically in the chrome and then you just uh, toggle device toolbar and then you select this uh, option as a you know as a iphone and then it will you know it will render your application in the phone even though you can select uh, like uh, other option like android which is pixel 2 right so it will show you it will how it will look like but i mostly like uh, this way which is uh, i mean which is the exact look feel, look and feel uh, of the phone device whatever it depends on you okay so the other thing i wanted to show you was uh, here you see the they have option okay they have option if you want to see the compiled version of this code you just press this and then you will see the compiled version of this code which is uh, currently showing that this is a uh, twitter underscore web 
yeah of course because this is for the web not for the mobile right now uh the other thing i wanted to show you was the the option they have right now is that the you can fork this code if you want so it's a copy of that code the, it says that pen forked right and they have an option to embed you can embed this whole code to your blog or to your website whatever right so that's a really a cool feature right now and the other thing is that uh, you can even though export as well so you can uh, save as a github gist and you can export as a zip file and the you can share on twitter you can share on facebook and you can share in this dev2 uh, uh, blogging website basically even though they have a very nice feature you can just print any number and then you send an sms uh, basically a shareable link of your uh, twitter editor uh, code uh, so they have like saying 10 left for this month so every month they have uh, this 10 free sms for your uh, code okay and uh, what else i think that's it mm, it's a smooth uh, ui and uh, it's very good because uh, it's very lightweight uh, the one thing i wanted to show you was uh, this uh, this is the dart pad basically so the dart pad is like this uh, you run this code and then it gives you the output which is currently not available on the on the flutter flutter pen basically okay so uh, this was the quick look for the flutter editor i hope uh, you will uh, like it and you will also explore it and uh, let me know once you explore it and if you find any other new feature uh, just come back to my video and then just leave a comment and then i'll be happy to read about that thank you very much for uh, watching this video see you in the next video bye bye have a great day